Hey, this is Rakesh and today we are going to learn something about variation parameter and this is the 10th visual post tutorial I guess. So, by start by typing uh, apex page block okay and just give the title tit le title and title to what we are going to use the what a standard global variable okay user dot first name and say this now here rockish and if i write here hello save this then it's going to be hello rakesh now inside that i'm going to write that what we are going to do is we are going to um, use what query string parameter and um, not and it's for contact details okay anything you want to write of what of account dot name account right a c c o u n t yeah save this and now we are going to use the question parameter of contact details of express logistic and transport it is coming from this id okay is clear right now again create a new page block apex page block and give a title to contact not contact uh, title title to what uh, contact uh, name and number okay so just start by typing apex data table okay so we are going to use the data table to display the name and number of that contact okay so just give the value and value would be like account dot contacts okay and give the variable to what mm, gone yeah and self adding would be like three and border for this table is one okay now um just type apex column delete that and copy paste and here write your what not account it's con dot first name of the contact okay and here write apex colon what i'm going to write here apex face said to give the header value so just write here name and name to head okay and we will the name of the contact right save this and there is not again i have done the same mistakes whoa yeah here we go now as you can see the two names are coming here from this id of that account okay so these are the related contact belonging to that account so just copy that to display the phone number two paste that simple and right here uh, phone number of the contact right and here right phone and say this now as you can see the phone number is also coming here so this is coming from this id of that account okay now i am going to introduce you something like apex detail as we already learned the detail but the new thing here is the subject not subject subject we already done but the value of that subject now here we are going to use the standard global variable that is called current page okay so we are going to access the current page okay and now i am going to write parameters so we are going to use these parameters okay whatever the parameters we are going to give here we are going to access that okay now 
CID. CID is the name of that parameter. Okay. So just right here, make the related list false. Very easy. Okay. Save this. And now, what Apache Detail do is just give the details of all the what contact ID. Okay. But it can access the contact ID from the URL. Okay. And we do not give now any id so there is nothing so just come here and this is the this is the account it is the contact id yeah? yeah. copy that and now here write ampersand ampersand and cid as we are what uh, where is the code is oh, refresh that well, what is doing here? now here is the code I have just gone somewhere else. Yep. Just close that. And now here write ampersand and CID as the name we already defined here. CID. Okay. And equals to paste that. Hit enter. And now you can see all the details coming from there. So this is called query string parameter. From this standard global variable current page, we are accessing the current page parameters. So these are the parameters. And what the name of the parameter is CID. So I'm going to experiment something. If I do like make this CID to one, and here one, it will run fine. I think so. So just hit enter. Now let's check no it is not running fine so you have to write cid here not there is nothing oh, i am just forget to save it save this and now yeah it is running fine so uh, doesn't matter you just have to give any name okay any name here okay and it will access from there okay so uh, I'm going to experiment more thing that is copy that and paste that make it bigger so you can easily see it and come here now uh, this is the contact ID too okay so what happened if I give here ampersand and just get another contact ID that is this and I just copy that ID, come here and again CID2 equals paste and enter. Now let's see what has been going on. So this is the contact ID and nothing happened. Oh my god, this experiment would be failed. Yeah, completely failed. But I will, oh, again I don't save that. This is my mistake so just copy that and i think my experiment should not be failed now save this and now let's see what happens yes we have done it right so you we just um display in our visual force page the detail of contact id one and contact id two yeah that's nice really nice here yeah. i'm just uh, experimenting like this you also do that okay so you can know that uh, what are the possibilities are so for now this is the first and only um, i think so there are this is the first part of this query string parameter section and now in the next video i'm going to show you something about Mm, command link apex uh, output link okay which is more interesting okay for now thank you bye bye see you in the next video